many of you have seen this before. You, you know, like when you go to your doctor's office and they say, just sign here. Do any of you stop and say, what am I signing for? I had done that in the past, and usually, oh, you're just giving the doctor consent to see you. And, of course, I would trust them, right? But not anymore, because I don't use this system. I would have to be on my deathbed and want him to be saved. But anyway, the point is, have them print it out, read it. This is what happened to my girlfriend a month ago. She finally decided, you know what? I'm not signing that electrical thing anymore. I want to know what it says, because it's a contract. You're putting your signature down, and the fact that they need your signature means they need you to consent. It took them a while to print this out because it was like six pages, and I guess nobody had ever asked them to print it before, so they didn't know how to use the system to do that. But once they got it printed out and she sat and read through it, you know what was at the end of it? You consent for your doctor to give you. So know what you're signing. And this is not legal advice, but when you're going through a contract, you know you, you can't put a line through things. You can draw a line right through it and say, well, I agree to all this, but I don't agree to that. Put a line through it and sign it if you have to. Now, at the end of her appointment, she didn't sign it. She told him that, I don't consent to that. And, of course, they still want your money. They still want to collect the insurance uh, payment. So they saw her anyway. No is the most underused word in our vocabulary. Now, I remember when I used to be a people pleaser, and it wasn't until I read the book Boundaries. We need boundaries, people.